Filling in the gap between episodes 2, Attack of the Clones, and 3, Revenge of the Sith, we are here discussing Star Wars The Clone Wars, episode Cat and Mouse. Though this is the 16th episode of the second season, this is the first episode of The Clone Wars from a canon timeline perspective. Anakin Skywalker, Jedi Knight, and Republic Admiral Wolf Yularen have been sent to the planet Christophsis to aid Senator Bail Organa. As they approach the planet, Separatist forces bear down on the Republic fleet. Obi-Wan and a single Republic cruiser join the fray, and he urges Anakin to pull his forces back and regroup. He has a new toy that may help the situation. Obi-Wan Kenobi has brought a prototype stealth ship with a cloaking technology. Anakin wants to take the ship into battle in order to destroy the blockade, but Obi-Wan orders him to continue the Mercy mission and deliver needed supplies down to the planet's surface. The Separatist fleet does not pursue the retreating Republic warships, maintaining their blockade of the planet. However, Admiral Trench wants to lure out the Republic fleet so that he can defeat them. He sends a squad of bombers to the planet's surface to destroy Bail Organa and his command center. Senator Organa contacts Obi-Wan, requesting assistance against the attack. Help us, General Kenobi! You are only hope! Now we see where Leia got that from. Obi-Wan decides to go after Trench, hoping to distract him from his attack on the planet, and orders Anakin to continue his relief mission. However, Anakin has another idea, and takes an offensive stance. He disengages the cloak and fires torpedoes at a very close range to the Separatist command ship, but it was not close enough. Trench had enough time to activate his shields and block the oncoming attack. Anakin manages to re-cloak in time as Trench lets loose a barrage of cannon fire. Though Trench was unsuccessful in damaging Anakin's vessel, he has surmised that it is a Jedi who is piloting the ship, as no clone could have dodged that kind of laser fire. Admiral Trench sends a warning to Anakin over open channels, threatening him. He claims he's dealt with cloaking technology before. Obi-Wan, having done his research into Admiral Trench's battle history, has found records of several battles Trench has won against cloaked ships, in all cases dealing damage with tracking torpedoes. Anakin managed to get Trench to fire his torpedoes. He decloaked and headed straight for Trench's command ship. Trench had to lower his shields to fire the torpedoes, and, unfortunately for him, they were still recycling, leaving Trench's ship defenseless. Anakin flew close enough to his ship that the missiles hit them straight on, destroying Admiral Trench and punching a hole in the blockade for the delivery of relief supplies. As the episode is wrapping up, Anakin told Admiral Yularen that he tends to do things a bit differently. The Admiral has already received word from Chancellor Palpatine about Anakin's tactics, but it was said to him as a compliment. As we have seen in many different stories, Chancellor Palpatine was often involved in manipulating Anakin's growth, and this is no exception. We've also learned from this episode that Anakin is not new to command, but this seems to be his and Admiral Yularen's first mission together. The first of many. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to keep up with all the insight and analysis found here at Star Wars The Canon Explained. You can also follow us on Twitter or visit us on Facebook. Till next time, may the Force be with you.